Taxation is probably not at the highest of your list of priorities as a digital nomad. It's reasonable that the nomad life is filled with hurdles, and managing immigration and renting your next rental is difficult enough without adding taxes to the picture. But don't worry too much. I'm here to help. Indeed, digital nomads challenge normal work standards. They grabbed their bags, said their goodbyes to their bosses, and boarded a flight to travel from one dream place to the next. All of this while working remotely. But the question arises, do they break any other rules? What about paying taxes? Since they move from one location to another, how do they manage to pay their taxes? Or do they avoid taxation entirely? Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Hustler. Today we are going to talk about do digital nomads pay taxes? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Are taxes obligatory for digital nomads? Even though they move around a lot, most digital nomads are still required to file tax returns. How much and what kind of taxes they will have to pay will depend a lot on where they were born and where they worked when they made money. The taxes that digital nomads have to pay may change from situation to situation, just like the taxes that any other type of worker has to pay. Depending on whether the nomad is an employee, a freelancer, or a contract worker, the employer may have different tax obligations. Income taxes and contributions to Social Security are two examples of taxes that a digital nomad may have to pay. In many countries, digital nomads have to start paying income taxes after living and working there for 183 days. However, getting Social Security payments does not always follow such a simple rule. Where should digital nomads pay their taxes? Digital nomads file taxes in their home country. In some circumstances, the worker's jurisdiction may impose taxes. This depends on how long they've lived and worked there. Digital nomads that move frequently may avoid the tax by avoiding long visits in any country. Some countries have deals so that they don't have to pay taxes twice, but the host country can still collect taxes. For example, people from the U.S. who work in the U.K. may have to pay national insurance instead of Social Security. Do U.S. citizens living as digital nomads have to pay taxes? If you make more than the necessary requirement to declare as a digital nomad, the answer is yes. There are three sorts of tax systems in the world. Citizen-based taxation. In this system, a government taxes its residents' worldwide income regardless of where they live. The United States is one example of a country that uses citizenship-based taxation. Residency-based taxation. Under this system, digital nomads pay their taxes based on the tax regulations of their country of residence, not their country of citizenship. France and Australia are two examples of countries in this group. Territorial taxation. Digital nomads are only taxed if they earn revenue in their home nation. Panama and Costa Rica are two examples. In addition, failure to comply with tax duties may result in significant penalties. Spending too much time in a country with residence-based taxation is a trap that U.S. digital nomads should avoid. Many countries may regard someone who has lived on their territory for six months or 183 days to be a tax resident. That means that if you spend too much time in a country with a residence-based taxation, you may have to pay taxes for that country in addition to your U.S. taxes. To avoid unpleasant shocks, digital nomads should research the tax regulations of each country to which they go. Consult a tax professional to learn about the best strategies to prevent double taxation. Other digital nomads who may be unaware that they must file U.S. tax returns are referred to as accidental Americans. These digital nomads were born in the United States but relocated abroad as children. They are American citizens by default, which means they must comply with IRS requirements. In this situation, accidental American nomads can use the IRS's Streamlined Filing Compliance Procedures program to keep tax compliant while avoiding penalties. Four Best Tax-Friendly Countries for Digital Nomads Croatia Digital nomads can live tax-free in Croatia. U.S. digital nomads who want to use the program must fill out an online form and show all the necessary documents. If their application is accepted, they must travel to Croatia and register within 30 days. Georgia 
Georgia provides digital nomads considerable tax prospects. Digital nomads can get a remotely from Georgia visa from Georgia for 1% of their gross income of up to $155,000. To get a visa, you need to make $2,000 a month or have $24,000 in the bank. Also, Georgia has low taxes. Another advantage for nomads. Cyprus. In Cyprus, digital nomads who become tax residents of Cyprus are not considered to have a permanent home for 17 years. Through this program, foreigners don't have to pay taxes on income earned abroad. As a person looking to become a digital nomad, which country do you prefer and why? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That's all for this video. Hope you liked the video. If so, like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.